And welcome back to the Randomness Podcast, dummy. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You sung it out? I sung it out. And it is Thanksgiving week. Turkey week. It's turkey week. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to eat some meat. We're going to eat some turkey meat. <laughs> Wherever it comes from, I don't care. He likes the dark meat, though. I do. I'm a dark meat kind of guy. Well, I don't know. I could tell. <laughs> I could tell. Hey, it's thicker and juicier. <laughs> That is also true. But you know, and longer. I noticed something as I got older. Yeah. I used to not like Thanksgiving very much. Like why? when I was a kid. Like why? When I was a kid. Did you get any presents? Yeah, it was kind of like a bullshit holiday. You're just kind of like waiting to get presents at Christmas. You well, know, you just didn't get much. I got pumpkin pie. I got pumpkin pie, which is awesome. <laughs> which is the best food ever. I can't wait to eat all the pumpkin pie. Well, yeah, but now as an adult, I'm, it's my favorite holiday. Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Thanksgiving is amazing. It's my favorite holiday. So much food. It's great. Yeah. I'm going to go. I saw a trick. I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you guys right after we introduce ourselves. For those that are new to the show, I'm Kevin Wire. <laughs> oh, man, you left me a suspense. I <laughs> know, right? Who oh, are, I'm Matt Saunders. He's Matt Saunders. Yeah, it says it right there on the screen. It. Just read the damn thing. Just read the screen. Uh, oh, and tell me the secret. Tell me. I saw online. That they said go to the Dollar Tree. No, but it's bullshit already. And get one of them trays. It's like a party tray that you put like it's got like places to put like meat yeah, and stuff in. And but how much do they cost dip. though? I don't know. We'll find out. That's what always pisses me off about the Dollar Tree. Yep. Nothing's priced. Yeah. Is there is there are there tags on things? <laughs> no, no. I think there's a bunch. It just says one dollar across all the shelves. Well, it's it's like the part of their that, logo. It's the reason that everybody at our Dollar Tree hates me because I take stuff up there and go, uh, "How much is this? Is, can I get a price check on this?" <laughs> they don't like it. Yeah, they do not think it's funny. Well, we're gonna get yelled at again for besmirching the tree. <laughs> I mean, from a guy. Sometimes it needs besmirched yeah but okay but those trays have like there's like six or eight places around it and plus a center yeah yeah instead of one, using like a flimsy like paper plate or yeah whatever, yeah yeah you fill up all those with what casseroles turkey ham oh, gravy hell yeah just the one <laughs> the middle can just be a bucket of gravy <laughs> hell yeah you could dip everything in oh because i do oh yeah because i absolutely put gravy on everything you know and then you get another one for dessert you get a pumpkin pie. You get an apple pie. You, you get, get a, a cool pecan whip. pie. You, you get cool whip, cool whip in the middle. I'll need a tub in the middle of Absolutely. Because I use a tub of pie. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. I do too. Uh, I actually portion it out. Me too. This is how I do it. And I'm sure Tell you probably me. do too. Right. I recently bought a pumpkin pie. Every once in a while, they'll too. throw yeah. them out, right? Yeah, I know. And I'm like, you know what? And I'm going to buy it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So uh -huh. what I do is I come home and I cut it down the middle. You don't even cook it? Well, these are already pre-cooked. Oh, the pre-cooked ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you bought a frozen one. No, go I don't ahead. buy right, frozen shit. All right, go ahead. So I, then I turn it. Uh-huh. Like a 90 degree. Yeah. And then I cut, cut it, it again. down again, right? So then and I that's have- That's all you need to do. I have four, four pieces. That's it. That's right? all you need. So then I eat a piece of that, uh -huh. which is a fourth of a pie. Yeah. And I eat a fourth of a container of whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah. And right. ration it out. Yeah. I don't know. And then that evening, I'll eat another. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. So agreed. It, I have a two day pie. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically how long a pumpkin pie lasts. Yeah. Now, I figured out because, you know, probably like you, nobody else in my household eats pumpkin pie. There, I have pe two other people now that eat pumpkin pie. Oh, no. But they don't put Cool Whip on it. Well, because they're wrong. They're wrong. Yes. Yeah. But what I have done. Because I used to do like you, cut it in half mm -hmm. and then turn it, cut mm -hmm. it in fourth. Right, right. Now, I cut a tiny little sliver like this out of it. Okay. Okay. And I take it out. And I put it on the plate. Uh-huh. And I eat it. But that gives you access to dig into the rest of it. Oh, true. And not ever have to put it on a plate. That way, you can just put a little bit of Cool Whip, eat that little piece of pumpkin pie, and then just dump the rest of it on top. Yeah. And that's how I eat it. 
That's cool. That's a cool because way to I eat. Am a sick human being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I eat mean, pork or anything. And I'm not. I'm not embarrassed to say this, but I have just done half a pie at a time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because Only because it's pumpkin pie. <laughs> Only because it's pumpkin pie. Well, I, I want. I don't want to f- eat the entire thing, which I could do. Well, I could absolutely do that. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. Ha- okay. Here's because a- that's nine thousand calories or something. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous <laughs> for a whole pie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Uh huh. Have you ever had a bad pumpkin pie? Really? Never. I have. I've had ones that weren't as good as other ones. I've had. I've never had one where I regretted. I've had some like been to like a like a dinner where people bring stuff. They brought a sweet potato pie. Well, no, (laughs) I know the difference. (laughs) They, but they they put way too much like spice in it. (laughs) I know the difference. (laughs) Yeah. They just they overdo yeah. it. Yeah, they try to mess with it. They make the, they're like, oh, this is this is grandmama's rest recipe. Yeah, no, it wasn't. You're like your grandmama's oh. recipe was just had pumpkin. Yeah, it was just pumpkin. It was just they scraped out a pumpkin <laughs> and baked it. It had seeds in it. Anyway. Yeah, they didn't care. It had the top of the pumpkin on it. You had to pop off. <laughs> you know, you look at a pumpkin though, and you're like, you know, like when you're carving up pumpkins. For oh pumpkin yeah, and stuff, and you're pulling all the guts and out. You're like, stuff, and you're like, how the fuck. Do they make a pumpkin a pie? delicious, the most delicious thing ever on the planet out of this goop? Out of this goop, this, <laughs> they don't use the goop. Out of this brain goop, they don't use the goop. What do they use? They use the meat. <laughs> well, but it's <laughs> near the goop. Well, it's it's touching. Goop. It's goop adjacent. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is touching the goop. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, but I love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is the greatest. <laughs> pumpkin pie. And banana pudding are two things that I have to be careful with. Right. Because I can eat it all in yeah. one sitting. I uh, I have to be careful. The last reunion that I went to, two people brought banana pudding. Oh, yeah. I remember. Two different people. You left an ambulance. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still recovering. <laughs> um. <laughs> I you kept telling people there was a banana pudding eating contest, <laughs> but you're the only one. I was the only one who doing it. I won and I lost. You definitely lost. So, uh, I enjoyed one more than the other. They were made. Uh-huh. They were made. You you don't yeah. think there's that many different ways to make it? Oh, but, there's a lot. Yeah, you know. Um, uh, I've had it made with you know like they put like the graham cracker pie crust in the bottom, right? And then I've had it with. Vanilla wafers. The wafers. I like wafers. I like the wafers better. Uh, The difference in these two was the pudding. Yeah. The type of pudding they used. Yeah. I think one was more like just like a box like type of pudding you mix up or whatever. And the other one I think was like a homemade. Like really homemade. Like they was made with real bananas in it. And (laughs) not flavoring. Yeah. I kind of like the flavoring. Yeah. So. (laughs) Yeah. I'm poor. I like that kind of. Oh, yeah. I never had. We couldn't afford bananas. Like when I eat real ingredients. Oh, my body just doesn't take to it well. Yeah, I get angry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there real fucking banana in this? Bullshit. Goddamn. Oh, and banana pudding is perfect to throw at somebody, too. If you need something to throw at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can just nail them. Oh, yeah. You can scoop that up and make a snowball out of it, kind of. Like, almost. Yeah. Unless they use fucking real ingredients, and then it pisses you off even more. It does, because then it's more slimy, and it, it just doesn't stick. Does, a banana, does, it just smushes apart. Nope. It's bad. Yeah, it's terrible. Can we talk about that, this anymore? Probably. Probably. Probably so. But we should move on. Ah, really? Yeah. So, so I can talk about pumpkin pie more. Well, okay, we can talk ahead. about anything. Go we can go talk, ahead. We can go talk ahead. about Thanksgiving all day, but... But we got to move. It on. is coming up. So happy we got Thanksgiving. It. Happy Thanksgiving coming up, you guys, all you dummies. Um, Tell us how much you like pumpkin pie in the comments. Or what's your favorite pie? If you hate pumpkin pie, you better fucking. If you hate pumpkin pie, unsubscribe. Turn this, turn this off right now. Unsubscribe. unsubscribe. <laughs> Cuz we don't want you here. Yep. Go to some other channel that likes likes fucking pecan. blackberry pie. Black God. dog. I don't like it. No. No. It's got seeds and shit in it. Still. It does. You like pop a and Truth. it's almost healthy. Yeah, because they're excellent for you. They are good for you. Yeah. Like, I mean, pumpkin pie starts out healthy. Oh, yeah. Until you ruin it. Until you make a pie out of it. Until you make a pie out of it. <laughs> What's the most unhealthy pie? The pecan. Most... Pecan pie. Is it? Gotta be. That's gotta be the most. I mean, yeah, because really, 
there's just pecans on top of it. Yeah, and then it's like a jelly. But what's the rest of it? Yeah. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. But you can't eat. You can't eat a fourth of a pecan pie. Oh, good God, no. And live. No. But see, I don't, I'm don't. i not into the pecans that much. Really? If you could take that off of there and just give me what's oh. the mystery pie underneath. Like a, it's, oh, it's almost like a nougat. It is some kind of weird. It's like a jelly. Yeah. Yeah. It's got three different consistencies. <laughs> yeah. It's a little, a little <laughs> you strange. You a little deeper. It's now, I do. I do love, I enjoy it, but you can't eat. Oh, a it's, lot of it. Oh, it's it's rich. Yeah. Like you have to put you can't put Cool Whip on it or anything. You gotta put like oh insulin. <laughs> you gotta put insulin saying, on it. You just gotta pour water on it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, like, you put a yeah. you gotta put a life alert bracelet <laughs> in it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. But anyway, yeah, okay. But yeah. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving, everybody. Yep. Uh so we'll move on to America's favorite podcast segment. I love when you do this. <laughs> that we call Hundred Dollar Idea. <laughs> He's popping off on the camera. Ugh. That's right. It's a hundred dollar idea time. If you've been here before, you know what we do. If you haven't been here before, you're about to find out. That's it. <laughs> you don't know, then you know. I put Sorry, this idea you know. in there. He doesn't know what it is. Hello. I don't know. What he picked, probably don't remember writing it. Uh, it's been months ago, probably oh, that yeah, I put I'm it sure. in there. Uh, but it's a idea that we believe may cure cancer. It's definitely going to change the world. <laughs> well, oh yeah, and we could make up to one hundred dollars a profit. Profit. Anyway, and we try see. to sell it to you. And we try to we we try we pitch. I pitch it to him. We pitch it, and then yeah. I catch it, and then we fine tune it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then sometimes. Yeah, we go back and forth. If he, it's a messy me, process. But. It's a messy process. Sometimes oh, he makes okay. that face. Okay, okay. It's, well, because this one, okay, it's a calculator cart. Yeah, <laughs> and I thought, did I? Yeah, is that what that said? Calculator. Yes. Yeah. We'll see. It took me a second. Like at first, I was like, oh man, I don't know. But now I think I kind of know. Yeah. Bit. Okay. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah. You go shopping, right? You go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're not like rich, like we are. Yeah. If you're not rolling in $100 And ideas, you don't have to check prices and like oh, have a budget, that? that kind of stuff. Who does that? I've seen it on really YouTube or something. Oh, man. When I pump gas, I just leave it in there. Sometimes I just pull it out. Pfft. Oh, yeah. Spray out I just leave it on the ground. Put a put it clip, go get a drink clips in yeah just, oh man i don't care uh but yeah so i've seen people walking around notebooks calculators yeah. like trying to figure out if they can afford oh yeah like real cocoa puffs or they got to get like yeah you know choco taco choco poof choco poof <laughs> <laughs> you know whatever and yeah. but this is a cart that as you put stuff in bloop, it scans it little thing on the handle I calculates like whatever you got now I like it you can just let it run da -dun, da -dun, uh -huh. da -dun, da -dun. it packs it oh, yeah. at the end you're like right there it is or you can set a budget that's what i was gonna say you come in you're like man i only got this much I to spend, spend 25 bucks ba -dun, yeah. ba -dun. and you're like and I it, need this, it's this, like and, this. and you're like oh I well, can't get that one. I gotta go generic. Oh, it'd be cool if it like really just said it said something like eh, you're poor. Yeah. <laughs> Need more money. Just, hey everybody, look at the poor guy. <laughs> just yell shit. And you're like, oh, sets no. off the alarm. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, attention, Walmart shopper. There we have a poor on we uh, have a poor guy. We have a poor five. guy on aisle five. And I just stole a poor from Put from fumbled penis a poor yeah don't be a poor that's his oh i mean he's right that's his oh he's right don't he's be definitely one. right yeah, yeah so but yeah uh, I, I like that idea uh but it definitely has to yell shit at people oh yeah it has to embarrass you for sure yeah or like if you put something in it just throws a random item in your cart back in your face maybe Could what if anything. it just announces what you put in there Condoms, <laughs> <laughs> magic mushroom lube. Yeah, Plan B pill. <laughs> this is all. What that guy party tequila? 
<laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Come on. <laughs> then you're just going in there trying to buy cool shit. All right. Yeah. Magnum condoms. <laughs> oh, gosh. Like, guys. Oh, uh, it's so embarrassing. Sorry, but it's life. You know what I mean? <laughs> just living over here. Well, uh, 75 inch television. <laughs> AR 15. <laughs> yeah. Then you just leave. I do cool shit. <laughs> you don't even pay for it. You just leave. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe that's a that's the evolution of it. Is that it scans everything, and you can just pay for it, like as now on your buggy. Well, yeah, all through the buggy. Now they have this. I uh, let me tell you this: if you have a Sam's Club membership and you don't use the scan no, and go option that they have, okay, tell me about this. Well, it's an app for your phone. Uh huh. You go through Sam's. You pick up what you want. Boop. You scan it. Boop. 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 Check out right on your phone and walk out. Oh my! Now you have to, usually you have to show your receipt. Well, I mean, at sometimes the door. you do at Walmart anyway. Well, at Sam's you have to do it every time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sometimes you get caught in Walmart. But you just hold up your phone. And they get they scan a little barcode. <laughs> you're gone. Dude, that is awesome. You don't have to stand in line. You don't have to. Not, you don't have to deal with. Not, you don't have to put. Here's the shit. I but see. I, like I use the buggy idea. Though. I use self checkout. Oh yeah, people bitch about it. Ah, you're putting somebody out of a job. I don't I care. Do time, I don't yeah. care. I do it all the time. I Nobody wants care. to work anyway. So, yeah, I mean. they have 27 damn miles, and they only ever had three open to begin with. So yeah. they're not putting anybody out of a job. Yeah, they're helping true. me get through the line faster. True. If I got to skip that altogether, because I oh, yeah. everything I put in the cart is already is already scanned. Scanned. I just swipe and I'm out. Yeah. That's now Walmart has it too, but you have to pay for like a Walmart Plus subscription or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, no thanks. You know, which you pay for a membership Sam, at Sam's. At Sam's, but Sam's you get can get like you yeah, know, you can buy some a forty eight pack of like mayonnaise. Yeah, shit. or or like a tent. You can buy. Oh, you can buy everything. I mean, they don't have as much as actual Walmart, but I mean, they got like hardwood flooring and shit. Oh yeah. They got great stuff in there. Which is like, that's always a weird thing because you're like, man, I I need some hardwood flooring and I need like some frozen chicken wings. Right. <laughs> too. Yeah. You're like, but you can get it all in one place. You can. You just get it. You you're just like, get I'm, it. I'm getting a new laptop and, <laughs> you know, a gallon jar of Jif peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. In a two pack. I'm going to get a uh, playhouse for the kids. Right. And I'm going to get a giant jar of pickles. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they have large pickles there. They do. They look like just cucumbers. Cucumbers in a like, jar. Not, yeah. I mean, I know it's what they are, but I mean, I'm talking like, like a full size cucumber. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, you could right. cut one up and live on that for a while. I have. <laughs> Man, if I had a Sam's Club membership when I was living in Morgantown, I was poor as shit. Yeah. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Well, they're not They're not cheap. No, you can just buy a lot of but shit. But you get a lot of stuff. Yeah. They have some cool stuff. Yeah. That you can't get anywhere else. What they need... And, the calculator well, card. They do. They kind of do, but well, but they need the card. They need the you card. Could just like you could check out on the cart and do everything and just be bought to the be car, out. man. Yeah, yeah. Be sweet. I like that idea. I was what? a little confused at first. Well, yeah, I was too, and I wrote it. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could see your face. You but were I, blinking a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was trying to rewind my brain. Because <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, sometimes I put stuff in there I don't really remember writing down. That was one of them. That was one, yeah. But it's a good idea. Oh, it's a damn good idea. I like it. Calculator cart. It's great. Yeah. Somebody take it. Yep. Uh, we have one more in there. We're we just gonna do. Let's it? just do it. Let's just do it. You guys are getting two hundred dollars worth of ideas. Hundred dollars. So, do you do the graphic again? <laughs> nope. I didn't do it. You just look like an idiot. <laughs> I thought you hit the button. Didn't. Didn't do it. But. Uh, nope. <sighs> okay. I'll hit this one. That way they'll know which one of us is the idiot. And it's the red guy. That's my name. Yeah. <laughs> this one is junk fruit. <laughs> Dude, you're hilarious. <laughs> it's like it was junk fruit. Junk fruit? Oh, yes. I do remember that. It's very unhealthy fruit. Is yeah. What I'm assuming. Yeah. It's it's fruit. It's that's bad. junk. That's bad. That's bad for you. Yeah, yeah. We got all this fruit that's good for you. Mm-hmm bananas and apples and oh, pears yeah. and yeah all that stuff but like where's the junk fruit yeah 
We like, have food. Is it still just like? And we have junk food. Yeah. And now we and we have fruit. Where's the junk fruit? Where's the junk fruit? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know? Is it just like a banana that you pour just like a ton of sugar on? No, it's naturally grown. <laughs> it's it well, comes from nature. Let me stop you there. <laughs> let me stop you there. It's it'll be genetically modified. <laughs> Well, I mean, we but don't know. It, it's going to come that, out of the ground. You know, it's going it, to. Well, yeah, there's going to be yeah. a process. Mm. You know, you yeah. take something like a banana mm. and cross it with a donut, a little Snicker bar or, or a donut. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just a banana. <laughs> They're going to have like a it's circle extra. Yep. Natural sugar. And some unnatural sugar. You know, some flavoring. Artificial. Right. Right. And, you know, maybe you grow a banana that has chocolate chips in it. Oh, man. They could do that now. I'm sure they could. They could definitely. Like, why not? Yeah. I don't know if you can grow a chocolate chip, but you can. They can grow meat. <laughs> that's true. They you can, can grow make... meat in a jar. That's true. So, if you can't grow a chocolate chip inside of a banana, I mean, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, scientists? So, yeah. Ju- I mean, I think junk fruit would be huge. Yeah, because it's still, you know, because it has the word fruit in it. So it's still kind of making you feel like you yeah. think like you're eating healthy. Kind of, yeah. You like know? if you took a banana and you just dip it in some chocolate. Oh, you feel like a piece of shit. You'd be like, ah, oh, and everybody sees it. Oh, yeah. They're like, God, you did that? This way, you just peel it, eat it. Everybody thinks you're just eating a banana. Yeah. Like a strawberry has just got a bunch of Skittles in it. Right. I, I see. I like where you're going. See? I like yeah. that idea too. You know, an apple that already has caramel in it oh, hell yeah you know or the apple skin is actual caramel oh <laughs> i don't think he pooped <laughs> i mean he blew my mind yeah uh, i mean yeah. i think we need like to it. have the fruit for you know mm-hmm. fat people that's cool man they, that's it, kind of the tagline for the commercial isn't it yeah like fruit for fat people. fruit for the fat people hmm it's not bad yeah I think, I mean, it just would make, I mean, visually you're like, I'm eating a pear. Yeah. And it kind of, it just makes you feel better yeah. about being a shitty. And you bite into it and you're like, that is a Milky Way. Oh, dude. Milky Way is one of my top three candy bars. Yeah. I mean, I could eat a good Milky Way. What's your other two? My other two? Yeah. Twix is number one. Like regular just caramel Twix? Regular Twix. Twix. Is my number one. Yeah. Number one, really? Yeah, number one. Wow. And then probably what you would call it is number two. Yep. And that's then, definitely a top three for me. Uh, and yeah. then it would be Reese Cups after that, maybe four. I, you they're know, lag, they're lag. I like Reese Cups, but I could do without them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Uh, almond Snickers is my. Oh, well, I know. You say it all the time. It's my favorite candy bar. Number one? Yeah. It's, uh, it's my one. It's my go to. And what you would call it? And what you would call it? Is there? Is it two or three or and a Milky Way <sighs> is up there? Yeah, watch my call is probably two. Yeah, you're good man. Uh, three is a rough one. It's it's, uh, it's hard to pick. You like a Fifth Avenue? I do like a Fifth Avenue. <laughs> However, I think it's a uh, Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth's good. Yeah. I just you got to get over the fact that it looks like a turd with peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> What's different about a Baby Ruth? And a Snickers. Well, the nougat's different. Well, I know, because, like, the Baby Ruth's way better. Yeah. I don't think the Baby Ruth has caramel in it, right? It has something in there. It's got the nougat, and it's got peanuts, and it's got the chocolate, but I don't think it's Does got... Does it have caramel in it? I don't think so. You sure? It's my favorite, it's third favorite candy bar. You think I'd know? You want me to Google it? No. <laughs> <laughs> later. We'll do it later. Yeah. Somebody if else, I'm wrong, somebody tell somebody me. Somebody else Google it. I just know they're delicious. Yeah, they are very good. Yeah. Uh, I have a gripe about candy bars, though. And it's because I'm a relatively fit kind of guy. Okay. I don't. Well, you know, I have a history with this, but I don't like king size candy bars. <laughs> it's just trauma. It's trauma from my king size Snickers. Yeah. Um, Snicker. And Snicker. Snicker bar. Snicker bar. Yeah. Uh, fans that have been around from the beginning know yeah. that story. That hard. If you don't look it up, it's out there. That hard ER, man. Uh, but I just want a regular candy bar regular size whatever 
And now everything is either king size or it's a two pack. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I've seen that a lot. Yeah. And I have impulse control. So I can't just be like, oh, I'll eat one now and save the Oh, other. yeah. They're like the ones are like, what is it? I think it is Twix. Oh, where they, you like twist. You're supposed to twist it and save the other. Oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah. They're like, well, I mean, I opened it already. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't. So I have to eat it. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I have I'll eat. eat I'll end up eating. Like, all of it. Yeah, no, absolutely all. Just the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And then I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's some, I think I have some weird deficiency or something that a Twix fills. <laughs> it's like, dude, I will eat the shit out of those. Yeah. Things. Yeah. I, I, that's how I feel about the almond Snickers. Really? Yeah. I Like so if I'm run down or so like, get some, dude. right after this, I'm going to go definitely go get some. You have some. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I got one right, right here. Right here in my pocket. It's behind the fridge. <laughs> in a uh, stash. Oh, I can't keep candy in here. Somebody else will eat it. Yeah. I can't, I can't hide candy anywhere in the house. Really? I have to put it up really high. I was going to say, just put it up somewhere high. Yeah. 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 I have, I had a box shoved way back in the top of one of the kitchen cabinets that, yeah. You know, even I had to get on the chair to get up there and get it. So you need a little tub down here in your workshop room in there in the garage. They sniff it out. Really? Yeah. Oh. I had to like pack it in coffee grounds or something. So because it's chocolate. Yeah. If there's any chocolate, dude, on they're it at periods, all. man. They're periods. They just smell chocolate. Yeah. Women just smell chocolate. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Oh, it's weird, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The more they bleed, the more they can smell. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Out with the old, in with the. I don't know. Something to do with chocolate. The, yeah. Ow. <laughs> I don't know. You're not very good at that. No, I'm not very good at a lot of things. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so yeah. What was that? Junk fruit. Junk fruit. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. All right. Not bad. This episode of the Randomness Podcast is brought to you by Rewind. The world's most complete all-in-one greens drink, including 50 powerhouse superfoods. Get yours today at www.rewindco.com and save 20% on your first order by using promo code DUMMY20. That is D-U-M-M-Y-2-0. Get yours today. So, You're welcome. let's get into a little story time with, with the, the Random guys. guys. Okay, so what you got? I got a couple short oh, this week. But, yeah, I saw a gentleman. Okay. In Charleston. And yeah, it was chilly outside. Right. Okay. You know, it's yeah, it's starting to get cold. It's a little chilly, right? Yeah. It's, it's November. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, everybody's wearing jackets. He chose to wear a blanket. It was like a fleece blanket. And he wait, it, oh, he was not a homeless man. Oh, hi. oh okay. How you know? Because he didn't stink like one. Well... <laughs> Maybe he just, you know what? Actually, I don't know. Maybe he just freshened up. I don't know for sure. Well, his blanket was in great shape. That's how I know. Well, he just got it. He just got it. Maybe. Maybe so. You know? Maybe somebody threw it at him. (laughs) Take this. (laughs) But I thought. Do you think if you're homeless and you You just wear everything you got? Well, you just happen to, you happen upon a brand new blanket. Oh, good God. That's. You're going to wear that thing like a. Well, you wear everything you got anyway. Well, it's true, but yeah, yeah. You, but you all, wear that with pride. Though. Well, yeah, you walk around like a like a king. It was pink. It was a pink fleece blanket. All right. And there, I mean, there's the gentleman was flamboyant. Okay. Okay. But it just it got me thinking, like, why don't we wear more blankets out in public? You know, well, like a snuggie. I mean, you could wrap up, you know, sometimes at, at the house you wrap up. Yeah. You know, like, Jubby knows what I'm talking about. Oh, that dude can wrap a blanket into like nine different outfits. Oh, he's, he does actually. I know. But I thought maybe it was Jubby. I saw <laughs> <laughs> He lives. No. Uh, but I thought, I mean, is it acceptable to do that? Like if you were just out. Right. I think so. I mean, as long as you have clothes on under it, probably. Yeah, you did. Okay. I think. <laughs> you could just wrap up, you know, with a blanket, I think. I think you could. Probably work, right? I mean, people are either going to laugh at you or be like, that's brilliant. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Because this guy, I was like, 
Like, you're not going to be cool blanket, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can get away with that. So, oh, I mean, cool blank. The thing I'm about that is you got to keep it held on. Yeah. So if you got to do something, you got to. Yeah. I think kind of the jacket is just the evolution of a blanket. They probably wore blankets outside when it was cold back yeah. in the day. And they're like, man, this but they should make... thing just keeps falling off. It needs pockets. Yeah. Got to put know, my stuff need in. a way to get it on and off quicker. Yeah, keep it to stay on. Sleeves, the, keep it to stay on so I know, can work with it. my arms. Yeah. Okay, I see. Never mind. They should make more clothes out of blankets. Uh, ah, that was a joke. Never mind. That was a Mitch Hedberg joke, I think. <laughs> that was all of it. Yeah, That's pretty much all of it. Yeah. That was all of it. What did he say? Yeah. The incomplete. Oh, he said, I, I wish my clothes were made out of blankets. And he's like, then I could just fall asleep anywhere. Go to sleep wherever yeah, I was yeah. or something. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Mitch. Yeah. Um, he was funny. Yeah, I mean, maybe uh, that's a maybe it's going to be a new thing wearing a blanket. Maybe. Uh, he acted like it was going to be a new thing. Yeah, like he acted like I should be up on it already. He's you know, not, like, yeah, and it's a homeless hundred dollar idea. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to move in on our shit. Maybe. Yeah, the homeless, homeless people need more. Like, I hope he stays homeless. <laughs> Me too. I like that guy, but they need more. You know, like wearable shit. You know. Yeah, like everything needs to be like a multi-tool kind of for homeless people. For homeless people, yeah, because yeah. like you don't want to carry all that shit around. No. You see a lot of they be perfect candidate for my and... chair pants. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, those were a good idea. Yeah, was that? A, did we do those a hundred dollar? I idea? think so. I think you did. Yeah, yeah. and we made hundred one dollars off of that. Which we did. Pretty nice. We did. So it's pretty nice. And that was early on. Yeah, we really needed it back then. Yeah, we were struggling. Not now, man. We pump gas not, like not now. I load up three shopping carts full of brand name. Oh yeah, man. He doesn't even do equate anymore. No, no, not anymore. All right, I got one more story. Beautiful, okay. and so, I can't wait for it because you're you. Well, you, you like both of these. Two things. of my favorite things to <laughs> <Yeah>. eat. <laughs> no. We gotta move that board closer. Sorry, yeah, we got time move for a board. new uh, closer anyway. prescription. Yeah, for some. <laughs> for something anyway okay so in charleston they recently had a like dinosaur exhibit thing for children real dinosaurs was it like bones and stuff or is like what that was both it was like bones and then they had like replica dinosaurs that were like robotic that okay okay shit. yeah but they were supposed to be like same size and whatever right okay it was pretty neat okay you know i like i that. mean dinosaurs I like are cool dinosaurs. that's pretty yeah. cool so we're walking around doing all that stuff. In the middle of the giant room with all the dinosaurs, there was a person working, a younger fella. He was like the mid twenties, maybe. Okay. Early twenties. And he was holding a baby brontosaurus. Okay. Brontosaur. Us. Okay. Brontosaurus? Brontosaurus. 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 Okay. He's holding one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's about yay big. Yeah. Their necks are long. Yeah. But it was like, it moved. Right. And did all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. And you could like go up and get your picture taken with it. I hope you did. Right. I didn't. Oh. <clears throat> but I stood there and looked at this kid for a long time. Right. Was he hot? <laughs> he wasn't bad okay cool looking but that's his job you know yeah to just for fucking eight, 10 hours just hold a fucking baby dinosaur just hold a baby dinosaur and pretend that it's real because he's just acting like oh, what? oh yeah yeah i put what? on a show man, man this thing's a little wiry he probably worked at the circus first probably that's where you learn all that stuff handling what prepares you for a brontosaurus i mean the bearded lady <laughs> well you know <laughs> any of the midgets yeah they're yeah yeah that's true yeah but i was just like i stood there watching him and he he looked at me you know oh yeah like i know dude but i was like I wonder what that guy gets paid though does that thing bite or like but what's he get paid dangerous is it like a lucrative job well, that, that, uh, I don't know what to call it, that exhibit, I guess. Yeah. Travels 
Right. You know, it's yeah. like a circus. It's like a circus kinda. or a carnival or yeah. Yeah. freak show. Kind of. And I'm like, so they were doing it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, at least 10 hours, 12 hours. Right. So like how many people came through? Yeah. Was it like 50 bucks or something? or mm, Like th- probably 30 or okay. something. Yeah. Per person? Per person, I yeah. think. 20 or 30, yeah. So yeah. I mean, that adds up. Yeah, but. I mean, once you got all the dinosaurs paid for. Well, I was going to say, man, the overhead on those dinosaurs, man, it's got to be a lot. Yeah. Some of them were like. Oh, yeah. Rah. You know. Moved its little, yeah. So yeah. that's not that great of animatronics, though. You think there's just somebody in there? I mean, those look like moving it. I mean, that that kind of movement and stuff is like from like Billy Bob's Wonderland. Oh yeah, it's like from the eighties, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I think now they would have more, like a little bit more realistic. Well, they had ones in the other room for kids. Yeah, that you could ride. You could ride like a Triceratops and, right. and walk around. Okay, and then they had one. It was like a raptor. That they were like, you know, I forget what the sign said, but something about, you know, meet the... It said, she's a clever girl. <laughs> yeah. Like, but it moved, you know, it was just like a remote control. <laughs> it just, yeah. It could have been a... It was on wheels, but it, the legs still moved. It, it could have been a midget in a suit. Now well, yeah. It, but three midgets. When did those go extinct? Midgets? Yeah. They didn't have them on display there. I don't see as I, many anymore. And it's starting to worry me. looking down? Oh, I only look down. <laughs> you know, I'm looking for them. That's true. But I, I, see them I don't. Time either. Yeah, I really haven't. I used to see them on the regular. Well, they say on average, everybody's getting taller. You know? That maybe they are going extinct. So maybe. Growth spurts on the rise. Maybe they're bumping up a little bit. I don't maybe. Know. Maybe somebody's just kidnapping them all. Oh, maybe they're making like a. Like a Wizard of Oz sequel when they're all like on set. Yeah, it might be. Because there's not a lot of them. No, I mean, there can't be. No, right? There's not a lot of them. I'm going to look that up. How, how many? How many midgets? Which are state there? has the most midgets? State? Yeah. Uh, hmm. That'd be a tough one. Yeah. yeah. You would think, like, what's the shortest state? What's the shortest? <laughs> In Ohio. <laughs> Well, that's got like high. You think it? Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, probably Louisiana. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good stuff. I almost okay. went with Michigan. Mid- <laughs> <laughs> but, Michigan, but I couldn't say it. Michigan. Yeah. So. Michigan. Yeah. Anywho. All right. Whatever. Baby Donnas are pretty cool. Yeah, but I just thought, man, this is what this kid does for a living. Yeah, and that's one of the jobs they don't tell you about in that school. you could do. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can travel around the world. Holding the baby with dinosaur. a dinosaur exhibit, yeah, probably holding a baby pulling tail with that thing. Oh, you man, may- a hot hot girl comes in. He's just like, like a hot like nerd. It's a biter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, you go to the park with your puppy, you get like. Something. Oh man, you go with a baby brontosaurus. You go with a baby dino. God dang, be like, well, you know, I mixed it with frogs DNA. Right. I got some uh, brontosaurus blood out of. Some sap, tree sap. Yeah, out of a mosquito that was trapped in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of girls don't know the plot of the original. Well, no, it's been out for longer than they've been alive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They've never seen it. So So you could pull it off. Surely. You could use that on. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go straight Jeff Goldblum on them. (laughs) Because he gets all the ladies. I mean, yeah, it's true. Would you? Yeah. I mean, you would have to almost. I mean, who else am I? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're not going to do the. Who's okay. the big fat guy? Yeah, the dude from from Seinfeld. Seinfeld yeah. yeah, Newman from yeah, Seinfeld. You're not gonna do yeah. him. I'm not gonna dude, do that he guy. He died early. You don't want that. Yeah, he was uh, a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you don't want to be like the hero, dude, because he was too serious in that. Yeah, movie. no, yeah, he's kind of a just, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. All uh, right, are we done? I okay. hope so. All right, uh, all right, dummies. Uh, make sure that you are subscribing to the channel. <laughs> Like and subscribe, leave a comment, help us with the algorithm, yep. and we appreciate that. Call the show. Leave us something. Yeah. For God's sake. 853-DUMB. Yeah. 304-853-DUMB, and that is 304-853-3862. 
Send us your address and we'll send you some cool merchandise. Even if you're one of our close personal friends that yeah. watches this. Even if you're you. Even if it's me. <laughs> I'm going to start doing it just doing it. Will, I will mail you whatever you want. I'll just, you don't have to. Just, uh, but yeah, call the show. Uh, ask for stickers and I'll send them to you. If you want to email us, it's the randomnesspodcast at gmail.com. I'm tired of hitting all these buttons. <laughs> <laughs> we need a gosh dang uh, Go out and check out the merch page and get a cool shirt or a hoodie. We got the get them hoodies. Get the army of dumb hoodies. Fantastic purchase. You won't be disappointed. It's true. Uh, I think that'll do it. That'll do it. Once again, happy Thanksgiving this week. Eat your pumpkin pie. Eat your pumpkin pie. Send us a picture of your pump- pumpkin pies. Yeah. Send us a bunch of pumpkin pie recipes. Send us a pumpkin Send pie. Send us a pumpkin pie. Or two. Two of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two of them because and, you know how we eat. And two buckets of whip. Yep. Don't forget the cool whip. Don't forget the cool Don't forget to whip it. All right. Oh, bye, dummies. Later. <laughs>